when a mass casualty happens in the backyard of your community, it catches you off guard. It's devastating, mixed emotions. Um, but you revert back to your training um, and your arrival on scene. And the mass shooting here in Southern Springs impacted the community. And not only did it bring the bonding with the community, but also amongst the first responders and helping each other during the investigation. The decision to request the FBI during the Southern Springs shooting um, was a joint effort. Uh, we were here on scene and we discussed what we could do to help each other out. During a mass casualty event, the role of the SAC is really to be that primary liaison to the police chief. About 96% of active shooters are not federal crimes. So our job there is to get with that police chief, county sheriff, whoever the lead is, and really provide all the assets of the FBI that we can help them with. The evidence response team role during a mass casualty event is to properly manage a mass casualty scene, which usually is a crime scene. And what that means is that we need to properly identify potential items of evidence, collect it, document it, and package it for case agents or FBI lab personnel. The Victim Services Division and the Victim Services Response Team are an amazing crew of individuals that are specifically trained to handle personal effects and then also trained with not only processing personal effects, but then packaging them and then returning them in a compassionate and thoughtful way. Some of the challenges with returning personal effects in regards to Sutherland Springs was Yes, a next of kin was identified for some of the deceased victims, but the family being able to agree that next of kin can receive the personal effects because you have different family members feeling that they should receive that personal effect. And at the end of the day, it's not up for us to make that decision. It's something that the family needs to um, agree on. The FBI assists our local law enforcement partners in preparing and responding to mass casualty events by participating in tabletop exercises and field training exercises. This has been a long practice of the FBI. Uh, it's the FBI's philosophy that uh, we shouldn't be meeting for the first time during a crisis. FBI victim specialists can assist within their communities in reaching out to school districts, reaching out to hospitals, um, building those relationships with some of the local law enforcement agencies so that we're better prepared to respond to a mass casualty incident and we have a better understanding of what each agency can bring to the table. If you have a team that's already been educated in trauma and what that looks like, then you already have the baseline for understanding how are you going to build a relationship and rapport with these individuals. When a mass casualty event happens in our backyard, there's denial. You can't believe it's happening in your backyard. There's anger. You're angry that it happened in your backyard. And then there's acceptance. You accept that it's happened, and then you do what you've been trained to do, and that's to process that scene. At Sutherland Springs, it was apparent very quickly that we needed to bring in victim services. We knew very quickly we had 26 deceased and, and countless injured. And from all of the other active shooters that we'd done, the feedback from the police was that victim services was one of the most requested and frankly, most needed services. And I, I think what's most important with victim services that not everybody knows, it really you bring the budget of the federal government. The Department of Justice has a special budget for victim services that often far exceeds what any local or state jurisdiction can do. With the assistance of the FBI I made this uh, investigation go smooth. The victim services took a lot off of uh, the investigators' uh, shoulders and, and working with the victims while we continued the uh, crime scene investigation. We are not coming to lead the investigation. We're purely coming in a mutual aid capacity to offer all of the services that the FBI has for that state and local partner. The chief's in charge, the sheriff is in charge. We're purely consultants, we're purely someone who brings a vast amount of resources to bear, and that's to help you get through this horrible event.